All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and in today's episode, we are going over the newest game that came out on the App Store. I had pre ordered it. Uh, I wanted to make, I think it came out, what, yesterday? I wanted to make a video about it when it first came out, but I had work, so I wasn't able to do it. Uh, I just finished work today as well, so now I'm finally able to make it the video. Uh, but I can't, basically just kind of want to give a. Uh, Go over the game with you guys for those of you who want to kind of know what's it about and everything uh get an, get an idea of like how it plays and such that's what this video will be going over kind of getting like a little bit of a a first look if that makes sense okay um i'm planning to have a, a later a video come out later on uh right after this video actually going doing some gameplay in case you want a little bit more uh in-depth like look on like how it plays uh the most common functionalities you'll be coming across, at least at first and such, uh, what it's like as a new player, all that good jazz. Okay, so that will be a separate video. But for this video, we're just kind of going over a quick overview of how it is so far, what it looks like, what's the, kind of the general basis of the game. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Um, just a little quick little warning, spoiler, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've already played a little bit into the game already, so uh the introductions that you get introduced when you first start the app for the first time uh you won't see that necessarily um uh, but i'm still fairly new in the very beginning portion of the game though so it's not it's not that much ahead um, i'm only a little bit into the story i still got a long ways to go okay so this is kind of like the general home hub just to give you guys an idea uh Overall, I would say I, I actually kind of like the, I really like the aesthetics of the game. It's really cool to be honest. And I can tell that they, uh, they grabbed some inspiration for some of the things from games such as like Dragalia Lost, uh, another one of Nintendo's uh, mobile app games um, in terms of like their presentation stuff. So, but obviously they, they attuned it to Pokemon, of course. Uh, but I, I really like that the whole 3D aspect they, they really nailed down how well they do the 3D aspects so this is the main hub you can look in pretty much every direction except directly behind you and every portion of the main hub you can either click on the surroundings around you to actually enter the different setting options so like for example um, this left hand side this little store where Tricia is located that's actually the shop so I can either I can either click on her to enter the shop or I can just click the, the button on the bottom left that says shop. Okay, so one or the other, either one. I prefer just pressing the button. This is the easiest. Uh, there's also characters just kind of wandering around in the shop as well. A lot of them will be characters that you actually interact with in terms of uh, the story mode, as well as uh, characters that you collect or obtain as you go through the game. Um, in case you're not aware, the kind of general basis of the game in terms of like lore story wise is the fact that you're kind of teaming up with characters throughout the pokemon franchise ever since like the very first pokemon episodes uh where ash meets you know gets pikachu for the first time uh all the way to like whatever the current pokemon episodes are and such okay and it also includes characters from the games and such uh kind of too um, characters from the games tend to be in the anime shows as well, so they kind of interlap. Um, so just an obvious example, as you see right here, Misty is just sitting here on the left-hand side. I think Brock would, was Brock here. Yeah, Brock's right here as well. Um, they start off as your default like duo partners. Uh, all battles are done in a 3v3 type style, uh, which I will kind of show a little bit more later on. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're like your default partners, okay? And I'll just kind of click on one of them just to show you what like chat is like. Oh, I just forgot. <laughs> I forgot I, I changed the settings so the, the tech speed's like super fast and I put it on auto. Hold on, let me see if I can get somebody else. You're fantastic. Okay, so I turn them off. Now it's at like normal speed and I have to actually click. So they act very like anime-ish, okay? They actually have a little bit of voice lines in them, which is at least nice to see. It's not just straight up standard text as most like 
uh, mobile games would tend to have. They do have a bit of voice lines and stuff. Um, have very expressive verbal uh, facial expression. So also a nice aspect. But they act very anime-ish. <laughs> that's a notable aspect, okay? So that's what like the, the chatting kind of looks like a little bit. I don't know who this is. Hey. Pokemon Ranger, okay. Mm -hmm. Pokemon skip Ranger. Him. You see what I mean, though? Okay, so going from there... Uh... What should I click on? Click on Trust here, just so you can see that. Welcome. So this is gonna be the actual like kind of quest uh, page. This is uh, so if I instead of click on on Thank her Trista, much. if I just click on Explore on the in the middle on the bottom, it takes you to the same page. Okay? This this takes you to the actual main story. Uh, sync pair stories. What sync pairs are? Those are the actual partners that you're teaming up with, okay? So, you know how I mentioned beforehand how uh, the kind of basis of the game is that you're, like, teaming up with other characters from throughout the Pokemon universe and such? Um, those are your sync pairs, okay? The pair aspect is the fact that each character that you team up with has a very specific Pokemon that's, like, their signature Pokemon or whatever uh, that they use in the game with them. Um, so remember how I said that the the whole game is the battles are in a 3v3 uh, aspect Well, you see you team up with two other characters and you use their signature their Pokemon As part of the Pokemon in the 3v3. Okay, so that's how that works uh, Just kind of for, for an example. These are currently the sync pairs or the other characters that I've currently unlocked just as of right now I don't have enough currency just yet. Uh, I should get it very soon, though. I'm very close uh, to actually get more. Uh, but this is what I've obtained. Brock and Misty are default. Whitney and Barry, you can easily get through. Or actually, all of these you get through story-wide easily. Um, I think Rosa I got from the automatic roll that you get from just doing the tutorial. Like the free roll, basically. Uh, now, in case you aren't aware... This is a gotcha game, <laughs> which I was kind of surprised to see uh, just because of the fact that, well, I don't, you don't normally associate Pokemon with gotcha game. Uh, and it was, I don't know, it, it felt, it was a little unnerving to see the fact that such a family friendly uh, IP such as Pokemon is now actually delving a bit into the whole loot box type stuff so don't know how i felt about it the game overall is still it feels kind of pretty nice i just don't know how i feel about the whole loot box uh, gotcha aspect about it but anyways those are uh those are my characters right now oh yeah that's what i forgot why, why i mentioned that rosa i got from one of the the polls by the way from, that was from the tutorial uh so this is the main story it go it has like different chapters and stuff you saw i just i completed the previous one um that's where i unlocked barry now it's chapter three. I don't know how many chapters are just yet uh, within the initial launch of the game. I, I'll find out sometime soon. I'm assuming they have at least a, at least a few chapters, maybe at least like maybe five or something. I would be willing to hope. Um, okay, I don't know. Can I? Re I guess I'll leave that for the gameplay video. Okay, training area. So just like with many other Jachi games, they have multiple ways for you to level up your units uh, so that way they can monetize those aspects a lot easier and stuff uh, so there's multiple different types so there's level up course just straight up level up your your pokemon or your characters whatever you want i'm just gonna say pokemon um oh actually can i show my level i haven't had a need to actually like look at my levels or anything just yet i'm kind of curious okay cool so right here this is me okay this is my uh default character that you created at the start of the game and stuff is Pikachu. You automatically start off with Pikachu. Of course. <laughs> uh, I leveled up. Every time you level up, your Pokemon gains stats, kind of like an actual Pokemon game. Um, and as you can see there, it shows like HP, attack, defense, all the usual stats you would see in a Pokemon game. Okay. Um, now, one of the main things, I'll show some combat in a sec, just so at least kind of give you a sense of how it works and stuff. Um, but in the battles, 
Each Pokemon has a weakness. Okay, this is normal. However, what is different is the fact that each Pokemon only has one weakness. At least as I, as far as I can tell right now. Um, each Pokemon only has one weakness. So if it's like a... In regular Pokemon, if it's like a dual type, it would normally have like a multitude of different weaknesses. Unless, like a, unless it's like a really good dual type. Uh, but in here, it's just one weakness. So that's something worth noting. Uh, definitely adds a bit of an aspect where you want to make sure you you bring the right type of um, element to the table, okay? It, to make sure you can actually deal enough damage and stuff. Uh, the bottom bottom portion are my moves, okay? Um, and I'll show this a little bit in combat in a second, but essentially what's gonna happen is at the very bottom of the screen, there's like a little meter that fills up and each of your Pokemon moves consumes a bit of that meter, okay? Um, you can also throw in kind of like trainer actions, oops, trainer actions such as like using a potion. Those count as like a move as well, but they don't consume any meter, which is a, a nice little touch. Uh, but those will count, you can have those count as like an actual, like, or consume like a Pokemon slot, that makes makes sense. Uh, the defaults already have Potion, Occupy, your Pikachu, as well as Brock and Misty's Pokemon as well, it occupies one slot for all of them. Um, this middle button right here, this is a new mechanic in the kind of like Pokemon universe. Uh, what was it called? I think it was like called like Sync Attack, Sync Pair Attack or something like that technique something of that sort um think of it almost like a uh almost like a z move think of it like a z move from the latest pokemon games it's kind of like that on that aspect and the way that you are able to actually use these you, you have to fulfill a condition which is where your z move or your sync pair technique whatever it is uh has a number when you're battling okay every time you use a uh that pokemon's pokemon move one of its Pokemon moves, that number will go down one. Okay, until once it reaches zero, that's when you're allowed to actually use a sync pair technique. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, you can unlock passive skills later on as well, and I'll show you in a sec how that works or how to do so. So we saw level up, okay. Um, well, we saw the, the training area, okay. This is how you, another way you can level up. So in the game, you obtain these like items, these EXP items that you can actually like let your Pokemon consume. Okay, so like if I, uh, if I wanted to level up Misty um, and I had actual more copies of these uh, level up manuals, I can click however many I want and let the, the star me consume it so that way she levels up. All right, um, it's worth noting as well since we're at the screen that as you could probably tell right here, each of your sync pairs do have like a star rating on them um which kind of denotes basically how good they are uh which adds to the whole gotcha aspect of the game it is worth noting though that you can like promote you can promote uh your characters your sync pairs so that way they go from like a three star to a four star or a four star to a five star as of right now now five star is the highest in the game although i'm willing to bet that at some point in the future they'll add like six and seven star as well it's just the nature of gacha games all right so that's that uh moves and skills you can teach new skills uh or moves i should say new moves to your pokemon it's only natural that's how pokemon works on top of the fact that you can actually teach new passive skills to your pokemon as well now whether or not you can actually change passive skills i'm not too sure of just yet i kind of want to lean on the side of yeah it's possible just because of the fact that it is a gotcha game so i'm willing to bet that 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 would be possible later on um but if that does end up being the case that's obviously something a little bit different than actual pokemon you can't like go and just replace a passive skill and actual pokemon on the same pokemon you have to go and get a completely different pokemon that has a different passive skill so Kind of cool aspect right there. It adds a little bit of strategizing and such. Um, as an example that the game gives you in terms of what type of passive skills they can have are things like resistance against certain elements and such. Okay, think of it. It's it's basically just like real Pokemon. Each Pokemon has their own passive skill that does something unique. It's it's no different. Uh, or ability, passive ability, whatever you want to call it. All right. Um, just to let you know as well, just like with like leveling up. Come on. 
in order to learn new abilities it shows you some like abilities that you can unlock okay so like rock tomb it consumes a certain amount of items each ability to unlock consumes different types of items rock tomb consumes this training machine whereas rock hard determination never heard that move before i'm, I'm assuming that's gonna be some sort of like trainer move or whatever it consumes a different a different assortment of items of course <coughs> All right, next up, increased potential. This is what I was talking about before, about kind of ranking up uh, your sync bears. So I can go from like three star to four star, four star to five star. Okay, that's what the increased potential is. All right, so now that we look at that, let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. Uh, I'm not gonna touch purchase gems because that's fairly obvious. Um, in this game, once you can exchange currency for like different items and such, uh, different benefits so that's there's nothing really it's kind of self-explanatory is what i'm trying to uh, uh the sync pair scout this is how you actually summon new characters new sync pairs this is the gotcha aspect of the game okay um each from what i can tell the basis is the each what's it called each pull in the game cost uh, 3,000 gems. I think they're called gems. Cost 3,000 gems. Now, one thing to note, though, at least from what I've noticed so far, is that at least from doing the quests in story mode, um, they only give you gems in portions of 10 or 30. Okay? Whenever you do, like, actual battle or something, you get 30. Whenever it's, in, like, a kind of more like a little story cinematic event, it only gives you 10. So... It's worth noting that it does take a bit of time to actually accumulate 3,000 gems. Uh, at least compared to other gacha games. Other gacha games that I would notice that generally cost about, let's say, 3,000 currency. Um, whenever that you complete quests and stuff, they would typically give you at least about a... Oh, what's the percentage? I don't know. That would give you about 100 currency, in other words, okay? So, the fact that in other gacha games, you'll get about 100 currency per, like, quest and such, whereas in this game, you seem to be only getting about, like, 10 or 30 each quest. It means that it's going to be a lot more grueling, a lot more grindy to actually attain the currency in order to actually do a single 10 pull. Um, and just like with any other gacha game, the 10 pulls, uh, like this, this one, right, oh, you, there's no cursor, uh, where it says sync bear scout times 10, those 10 pulls, it means it's a lot harder to actually obtain or do these a lot more often and makes up the doing these a lot more valuable. Okay. Um, as well as like in other gacha games, when you do the 10 pull, you tend to are more likely to get the better stuff by doing the temples compared to just doing a singular pool uh so it's just worth noting all right so that's enough of that uh let me go ahead and show you the team oh i did that already or i guess i can show you the, the edit team functionality okay so it's very basic it's not that complicated um they show a strength meter at the top left corner of the screen um this honestly reminds me very similar to how dragalia lost kind of works uh if you ever played that that's another um gotcha game that i play on the channel a lot of fun it's one currently one of my favorites as of right now also made by by nintendo so i highly recommend you go ahead and check it out but this is fairly straightforward you just pick a character and you just swap out characters there's nothing really special about it okay you can see there's there's stats and moves and stuff on the top nothing too special to really explain there all right okay so now that we've gone through that uh before I get into battling, let's go ahead and go over the Pori phone, I think is what it's called. Um, you unlock this once you go through after you beat, like, what is it? Chapter 3 or Chapter 2, one of the two, okay? This unlocks a bunch of other ver uh, features within the game, okay? So, missions, these are basically, like, all the daily missions and stuff, or any of the, like, achievements you've acquired throughout the game. So, things like log on the game, join up with the sync pair. Things, things of the nature, reach a certain type of strength level, things like that, okay? There's daily options too, so. That's where you obtain like your, your rewards, essentially. Um, there's a friends thing, there's a dex, 
So this is fairly common within certain types of uh, gacha games as well, but obviously for Pokemon, it makes sense that there would actually be some sort of Pokedex. Uh, and as you can see as well, there's a very limited amount of actual Pokemon and characters in the game as of right now. But I'm willing to obviously bet that as the time goes on, they'll start adding more characters in Pokemon too. Okay. Uh, there's the settings, game setter to sync it up. You can look at your actual, uh, kind of manage your Nintendo account and stuff a little bit from here too. And then you're back to see all the items and stuff you've obtained as of so far. So. That's all of that. Now that we finally got all of that out of the way, let me go ahead and show you guys some of the actual gameplay, just so I at least give you guys a little bit of a sense of how it is like. All right, um, what do I want to do? Let's we'll go into the training area. We'll do tech course. I don't think I've done that yet. Oh, I have. Okay, hold on. Let's do support course. Okay. So one thing to note about here is that uh, it shows the recommended types that you might want to bring along with you uh, because of the fact that the enemy is going to be weak to those types. So I do actually because of the fact that I do not have a water type on my team. I'm going to go ahead and swap out me or oh, edit my bad. Swap out me for Misty just because well she's a better actually we'll do a uh, bubble full heal. Yeah, I'll do it with Misty just because her weakness is lightning. A little bit least likely to be a uh, hit hard. You can check out what you can uh, rewards you can get from completing it, and let's just go ahead. Okay, let me slow it down. It's on auto right now. Okay, so as you see here, this is the battle system. I currently have it off uh, the speed to the lowest, and it's not on auto anymore. Um, you can see on the enemy side of the screen how each Pokemon has a particular weakness above their head that I can to do double damage against. Them. Okay, um, so right now I have Starmie. You can see that it says Bubble Beam, and it has like two little bars above the words Bubble Beam. Those will consume two bars from the bottom meter on the very bottom of the screen. So that's what I was kind of mentioning before. So we'll go ahead and use Bubble Beam. Uh, make sure you select the right character, the right Pokemon you want to target. We'll do him. We'll click Bubble Beam. We'll go ahead and use the move. There's a ton of damage. Okay. One thing worth noting is that speed it works very similar to how actual Pokemon does in Pokemon games, where the more speed your Pokemon have, the faster they can do more moves more often. It basically tells you how fast your charge meter can charge up to do more moves more often. So that's worth noticing. Go ahead and try and finish them off. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for my Pokemon moves to recharge, I can actually use some of the like trainer moves, like the, the items. So this is actually the sync pair technique that the yeah, that the, end, that the enemy would use on us. So let's go ahead and use this one more time. Finish him off. Oh, okay then. Start using Onyx. We're not done yet. We'll target him. You know what to do. Go ahead and use. While we're waiting for him, let's go ahead and use a potion, and we'll use it on Onyx just to give you guys an idea of how that looks like. So you can see that like while it's waiting for the Pokemon's turn, it has like little white circle thing happening around it. That's how you tell. So now should I, I should be able. To, okay, now I can actually use my Sync Pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sync Pair technique with Starmie, Sync Move, whatever it's called. And it has a special little animation for your Sync. This is so not on one, worth, one thing worth noticing is that uh, well if you use your your Pikachu for your own character, uh, it will actually do a little bit of an extra little cinematic where like you yourself as the trainer, like come bursting forth, kind of like a Z move where like you're at the front, you're like, 
go get him all that type of thing it, it shows that in the cinematic uh, so yeah this is what i was talking about before when you level up it does like show an increase in stats just like with regular pokemon when you level up and such Yay! I feel so, much stronger. so everyone's leveling up right now and these are all the awards that i got So, that is basically an example, a quick look at the gameplay. Uh, don't think there's anything else that I need to show you guys. That's pretty much it as of right now. There's, it's, I mean, the game did just launch, so it's kind of a little bit bare bones at the moment. Um, but I can tell that this is definitely going to have, <laughs> this is definitely going to be a very game especially with how the aesthetics look like I'm, I'm a huge fan of how good the 3d models look um they're not like they're not gross that it's just really bad to look at but it's very smooth and very engaging and just it it feels satisfying to uh to play it feels very casual um which is nice to see it's also it's also worth noting for any of you who might be uh parents out there uh, that because of the fact that it is from nintendo it has a lot easier time of actually helping you be able to self-regulate your spending if that's something you choose to do um it's not like other gotcha games where they want you to just like splurge without any remorse or limit whatsoever without realizing it in here they actually have some sort of like <laughs> some sort of a kind of system to let you know like hey or like reminder that like, hey, you spent quite a bit. Are you sure that's okay? Just just like little reminders here and there to kind of like help you re regulate yourself a little bit. So that's something worth noting. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Uh, for, th for this video anyways, I might still continue making a kind of like just a generic gameplay video. Just me playing like a few levels or something. I'm not too sure. Kind of think about it. I might do it though. But go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are of the game so far in the comment section down below. If you download the game yourself, go ahead and let me know what you, how you like it so far. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think there are some things that might be better? Um, especially compared to other gacha games. But other than that, my name is Brian from K Hux Nation. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. I am so far I'm looking to continue making updates for the game regularly. So other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys. Take care.